we need to start with that complex timbre in order to hear what's going on with the filters, okay? Um, so all we do is pull out of the outs, and then we're going to plug into the filters. We have two filters that are exactly the same in this, um, this modular synth, okay? Uh, it's, it's actually the FLTR or filter uh, module from Pittsburgh Modular. The same company that produces the synthesizer box produces these filters up here, okay? Uh, but you'll notice that, um, uh, let's see, having two of them gives us the opportunity to shape the overall spectrum with two different uh, filters, okay? We can kind of chain them together to shape both the high and the low end of the, the, the spectrum, okay? So go ahead and put uh, that gray cable into the input on this filter, the one on your left. I'm having to think upside down today. Yeah, the labels are below the jacks down here. Okay, so you've got it in the the out the input. Okay, now what's a little confusing is that you don't. Do you see one labeled output? No. No, that's the correct answer. Okay, so what happens instead is the the jack that you choose gives you a specific type of filter. Okay, so actually all three of these are outputs. It's just that you can send them, uh, you can, through your connection, you can choose which filter. So rather than thinking of it as a switch, you have to think of it as I, I, by patching in at this point, am choosing which type of filter I want to use. So which would you like to use, low pass or high pass? Uh, high pass. Let's go with high pass. Okay, plug in the high pass. Now connect that to the outs, like over here. Okay, now take the frequency knob and start to modulate that. Right here, what that's doing? We're carving out those low frequencies and then slowly moving up to just, just high pass. Okay. So high, that's high pass. Go ahead and switch it over to low pass. Let's hear, hear what that sounds like. Ooh, yeah, nice and dark. Can you hear the difference between the low pass and the high pass? One was going kind of more treble. The other one is going more dark and bassy. Okay, so the low pass is more dark and bassy because you're cutting out the high frequencies. The high pass is more treble because you're cutting out the low frequencies, okay? So we can now actually, because we have two, we can chain them together, okay? So let's t go switch back over to the high pass. And now take that output and stick it into the input of the second filter. Same with the one that says input, yep, okay. Now we just need another cable, take the blue one there. And again, the colors don't matter other than the fact that it helps you trace where the connections are going, okay. Um, so uh, use the colors to your advantage to kind of trace where things are going. So go ahead and, t uh, let's see, we, we did high pass first, take the low pass out of the second one. Uh -huh. And I'll connect that to the outs. Okay, now, now these two knobs are going to work in tandem for you to kind of shape the overall frequency. So turn, turn this one left and this one right. And we should get the whole spectrum. Here, it's nice and full now again. We're getting all the timbre from our beautiful FM synthesis going over here, going on over here in the synthesizer box, okay? But if we want to shave a little bit off the low end, we can just take the first one and turn it up. And we, now we can shave a little bit off the high end and have kind of a more focused sound, okay? So that's the advantage of having two filter units is that we can shave on two different ends of the, of the, the timbre spectrum, okay? Make sense? Okay, seeing the, seeing, are the wheels turning, thinking about possibilities here, okay? Uh, and again, like I said on um, Monday, don't overlook the power of just slowly changing knobs and letting that be your automation as you record into the computer, okay? Um, and I, I mean, I know plenty of people also that work with uh, Eurorack synthesizers, they'll just let the recorder run and they'll 
be playing around, getting different sounds, and then when they get to a sound they like, oh, wait, where is that on the recorder? Oh, that's 20 minutes. Let me just put that on my notepad over here. 20 minutes, there's an interesting sound, and then move on and keep, keep, keep exploring, okay? So a lot of what happens with modular synthesis is just exploring the sounds, changing things around, and seeing what, uh, what comes out of it. Can you hold that for a second? Okay. Um, so any questions about the filters? Yeah, come on. Yep. Well, we have frequency in two different places now. We have frequency, actually in three different places. We've got the frequency of the, the carrier wave. We've got the frequency of the modulation. Then we've got the frequency of the different filters. So this is generating, so if you want to hear, this is what we're starting with. This is what we've created with the filters is something that we can kind of interactively shape its spectrum over time. And if we want everything that is coming in and no changes, we can just simply turn those knobs outward. Okay? And if I, cr if I cross them, it actually cancels it because if you think about it, I'm now low pass filtering everything before it gets to the high pass filter and then high pass filtering everything and they've, they've crossed and so I've, I've canceled out the whole spectrum. Okay, 